going to go over a quick, cool way that uh, we're heating water with solar out here. So this is our battery inverter, and it's powering everything in this sub-panel. It's also powering everything in this sub-panel. And the um, customer wanted to use a little bit of that energy because if you have a system that's not grid-tied, uh, if you don't use the power, it just kind of sits there. So one of the things we did to use the power is we are heating water with this magnum. So uh, what we're doing is uh, we have an, an extra water heater that we've installed. And I've swapped out the elements in this water heater. They were 4,500 watt elements. I changed them out to 1,500 watt elements. I put the water heater on a timer. Um, we watch the system and check to see when the system is um, about done with the absorbed charge. Uh, was about 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 2:30 in the summertime. The system was finishing with an absorbed charge, and at that point, if there wasn't a lot of loads in the house, the the solar would only power what was needed in the house to keep the batteries full. So we're using that extra PV that we wouldn't necessarily use, uh, kind of like a dump load, but not necessarily a dump load. So at about 2 o'clock, I have the timer come on, and it kicks this water heater on and heats the water heater uh, and pulls about 1500 watts because when the water heater comes on it you know if you have two 1500 watt elements it's not going to burn both elements at once one element gets the top gets priority over the bottom once the top is satisfied it starts heating the bottom so it only pulls 1500 so it pulls 1500 watts heats this tank up I've got the thermostat set pretty high so it heats it up to about 130 degrees and then this is actually plumbed in series with their domestic water heater that is hooked onto the grid. So when, when they use water, it goes into this tank first, and if they're not here for a week or so, like, like a lot of people that are you know, vacationers, this is kind of a vacation home for them. So it has about a month to three weeks to heat this tank up, and then once this tank is full of hot water, they come here and they turn their faucet on, and their first 50 gallons is coming straight out getting preheated by the uh, solar and then another thing is every day it comes on so they have about two or three hours to heat this tank up every single day this has been working good for them they have a uh, they have an about an eight and a half kW solar array and they're using their battery and they're seeing the same savings that you would if you were grid tied with uh, without being grid tied so that's my little water heater spiel Solar powered water heating. This is Johnny Valentine with Gain Solar. Thanks for watching. Keep on watching.